When I am looking for garage sales, I'm doing research days ahead of time and I'm looking up garage sales that are multifamily, community, that have lots in the same area, ones that are staggered at different times. Like it's a whole process. I'm not just going out in the morning and seeing what random garage sale signs I can find. Because I think the cardinal rule with garage sales is make sure that you are there on time or early. If you're not first, you're last. <laughs> That's seriously true with yard sales. Community sales are great because they just give you a better opportunity to hit more garage sales at the same amount of time. You don't want to waste a lot of time driving different places. One said it was a community yard sale, so that's why I went to it, but only one house was selling stuff. <laughs> so that's kind of a letdown, but it was selling some really good stuff. And I made a really cool connection with one of the people selling at the yard sale. First off, like, I'm really sorry. At this first yard sale, my GoPro wasn't working. I thought the battery was dead, but it turns out it wasn't. And then I just used my phone, but I realized the camera on my phone was flipped towards me and not out. So you don't see anything that I was going through. <laughs> you just hear me talking. So you get a premiere shot of my left boob and that's about it. So awesome. But anyway, you do get some audio. That's a designer brand, second layer. I don't know if you've heard of it. Uh, yeah, no, it looks way nice. How much are you wanting for the, the clothes? Uh, it depends. Okay. It's just, I don't know, like, $24. Yeah, I'm happy so to like pay. A, like, that's like an $80 shirt. Awesome. Yeah. Wow, oh, thanks. Yeah, you've got some, these are those. your clothes? Yeah, that's my clothes. You have yeah. some great clothes. Thank you. It just doesn't fit me. I started gaining weight, <laughs> so it's all like really good taken care of. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll take a ton of it off your hands. This guy that I met at this yard sale had a lot of really nice stuff, a lot of like streetwear, and was selling it at a decent price. And so I asked him if I could pick up more, and he said absolutely. He didn't even pull out everything that he had at that yard sale. So I was able to grab a bunch more pieces from him. As we got to talking and as the pieces got higher end, I did pay up a little bit, but it was totally worth it. I am going to be auctioning off a lot of the things that you're seeing today on Whatnot, and that's because I have so much. Whatnot has turned out to be a really great way to liquidate inventory pretty quickly. So I do have a link down in the description. You can get $10 for free. Use it on one of my auctions or another auction if you want. Anyway, he had some really good stuff like Made Worn collab with Jay-Z. He had a sweatshirt from them. Awesome. Burberry, Second Layer, which is like a really high-end streetwear brand. I picked up five of those tees and they were only five bucks each. He threw in a couple of Nike tees for free, but then I did pay up for like the Burberry polos as well as the Save the Duck jacket. Save the Duck is a brand that doesn't use duck feathers, but uses like a vegan down material in their jackets, hence like the name of it, Save the Duck. And then a Kenzo sweater on my way out actually. He was like, hey, do you like Kenzo? I said yes, and he sold me the Kenzo sweater too. So I got so much stuff today that I'm gonna be giving away some of it to you guys. So let's do this giveaway again. All you need to do is be subscribed and leave a comment down below and I will pick one of you to send some stuff to, as well as a little gift card so that we can theoretically eat lunch together. Developing a relationship is really important. Let people know you have cash and you're always buying, and that does incentivize them to reach out to you when they know people, friends, family who have good items and they want to liquidate them really quickly. They know that they can reach out to you because you have cash and you're always buying. Then I went to a yard sale that was a little bit farther away and he had so much clothing it took me two hours to go through it all. Hi. Most people exaggerate when they say they have like thousands of items of clothing, but this guy was not exaggerating. He had maybe over a thousand. And when I found Patagonia right off the bat, I thought, okay, I'm gonna need to go through this with a fine tooth comb. As I went through, I found some really good stuff. This is Velvet Graham and Spencer, an anthropology brand. I was just finding a lot of bread and butter items as well as like some higher end items. This is a Reese, I think it's called Reese Rice, honeycomb sweater. Anthropology, this is like a long moth cardigan with like bat wings. Anything that's crocheted and long like that does tend to like do well for me. As well as like Eileen Fisher. I found a ton of Eileen Fisher. This is a 100% cashmere sweater, no holes, no flaws. And another cashmere sweater, Sundance. You guys know I love Sundance. 100% cashmere, you can see me here, just kind of inspecting it, making sure, you know, there's no pilling, there's no holes, and there wasn't. It was in good condition other than, I mean, I could get that off with a sweater shaver, any of those tiny little fluffies, but yeah. Definitely an easy pickup. I love selling cashmere, especially when it's one of my favorite brands. I could not believe when I pulled this out that it was Kate Spade. I was like, excuse me? It is a linen dress, super cute. I don't know if Kate Spade quite sells for what it used to, but I should be able to get $50 out of that pretty easily. This Patagonia shirt is a keeper for me. Um, I thought it was too cute and too cool. How fun. 
Another super bread and butter item with this Adidas sweatshirt with like the tape trefoil sleeve. And then this was a brand I hadn't heard of before, but when I looked up comps, they looked really good. Artisan Deluxe. I think it's like a free people collab type brand. My pile's already getting out of control, <laughs> as you can see. But this is where my GoPro ran out of batteries because I'm just the worst YouTuber ever. But I do unpack all the best things with TJ at home, so be sure you're sticking around if you want to see everything that I got. Oh my gosh. And I thought the first one was good. Dang, my car is literally full. Come, eyes are closed. <laughs> okay, come see. Wow. Look at it's you like got I got all a this. Yeah. It's like I got a palette or something. That is yeah. I'm having TJ add it all up because there's so much and I'm really curious to know. Like I was just going through and just fast and furious, cool. finding things, shoving it into that giant bag. Second layer, a bunch of these graphic tees. Of these retail for like 150 bucks. Right by it. This second layer tee, he had a ton of Hugo Boss, but like the new, new style Hugo Boss uh, that we like with like, and he took again, like phenomenal care of his clothes. <laughs> green tag is good. We like green tag. So I think the tops and the joggers from Hugo Boss will sell for like 50, cool. 50, 60 each maybe. But this is a Dolce wow, & Gabbana Betty Davis graphic tee. Who's Betty Davis? <laughs> 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 I, uh, I have... She's a film star. Okay. Yeah. An old, old Hollywood film star. Okay. This tea is awesome. This is Calm de Garçon. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. More of those teas, the second layer teas. How many of those did I grab? Are you adding these up? Am I supposed to? I don't. <laughs> yeah. A couple of Burberry polos. Wow. Yeah. And then, yeah, another Burberry polo. Like a Jay Z collab sweater, Brooklyn's Finest, and the brand is Made Worn. The so all most this other stuff is from the other brand Okay, show? so yeah, the, all this other stuff is from the other. Wow. So I was like, dang, I've already scored pretty good. I, Time to get your Chick-fil-A and head home. I know, right? And he had mountains of clothes. It took me two hours to go through all of it. Wow. But I was so glad I did. And you had your lucky hat and you were just like- I have my lucky hat. This is it. Yeah. This is what I was born this to do. This is what I was born to do. I couldn't believe it. I pulled out this Patagonia fleece. This is a Wilfred blanket scarf. 100% wool, new with tags. So it's a blanket, picnic blanket and a scarf. <laughs> yeah, yes. This is a brand called Oska, Oska, it's like a linen blazer. Comps on this look to be like 50 bucks easily. I saw this before I looked, even looked at the tag. A stained the, pair of pants. The M, <laughs> yes, these are mother jeans. Oh my God. They're corduroy. They are watercolor cord. These will sell for like 50 bucks easy. Oh, I almost forgot. At that first yard sale, they had a Hello Kitty purse. Oh. I was like, oh yeah. This is a Loungefly X Hello Kitty collab, but comps on this look to be like 60 bucks. Cool. Yeah, and it looks to be in really cute, really good condition, so. I don't pick up J. Crew a lot anymore, but this is like an open front cardigan. Beautiful condition. Comps seem to be like 75 for this. Wow. So. And you don't pick up J. Crew. I should preface this by saying, this guy was doing, if you could fill a, like a grocery bag, with clothes, it's five dollars. Not on. Yeah. Wait, a grocery bag. So yeah. Like the top. The, so. So you could fit like five I or six paid, things in it, or. Oh, you could stuff quite a bit. So when he saw that I was like overflowing, he was like, "Here, let me bring you some like actual yard size garbage, garbage bags." bags. The black, the so black he ones. gave yes. So he gave those to me, and he just charged me fifty bucks a bag. He only charged me a hundred bucks for all the clothes. Biscotta is like an older, very high end brand, like retail, but like. It can be a little bit of a longer sell, like you could have to wait for the right buyer. These are like some pleated wool pants though, and I think these are kind of coming back in style, so I think this will sell. Oh, this is one of my this is one of my favorite brands I find, but I only find it rarely. And you need to remember this if you guys don't know this. It's a brand called Citron. And Do they make microchips. <laughs> so the times that I've had it, it has sold for like 60 to 80 immediately basically like very very fast mm. so these are fast movers you would never know because no. it looks kind of plain but citron is good so I this is probably right that this, 
You would have rocked, walked right past it. You would have looked at I that pile of clothing. I would have gone to this guy's it. house and just been like, Ash, it was a total buzz. <laughs> they didn't have any Lululemon. Oh, I know. And I just left. A Vince silk blouse. It's beautiful. Vince retails for a ton, but doesn't move super quick. But it, because it's silk, I think it'll move a little bit faster, probably for 30 bucks, 35. Raquel Allegra. I didn't even look this one up because I it looked really fancy. The, the tag looked nice. Raquel Allegra. Okay, future Ashley here. I had no idea. I was just doing some research as I was editing and this jacket retails for $725. Are you kidding me? Like, I don't know if it'll sell for that or even close to that, but I'm definitely blown away at the retail price. Dang. I, I kind of have separated out some piles. This is the activewear pile. Patagonia, vintage, like kind of like the baggies swim trunks. Easy. 25 bucks, I would say. Um, Athleta leggings. These are the Athleta Peak Hybrid Fleece Tight. These retail for $100. I think they'll resell though for like 40. I love picking up Allo leggings, ALO. These have like a mesh detail at the bottom. Uh, I think these are like 40 bucks. Lululemon, these soft brushed full length. These will sell for probably 50 bucks. Another Lululemon tank. Camo, it's like got the camo bra built in to the black tank. This is a brand called Sweaty Betty. It's a nice activewear brand that I've never found before, so it was fun to pick it up. This is like 20 bucks probably. You haven't even scratched the surface I know, yet. I'm like. This is crazy. <laughs> Lucky Brand jeans, probably like 25 bucks. These are men's jeans. I do like picking up Lucky Brand for men, not necessarily women. Hey, do they still say Lucky You? inside lucky you like, yeah, was just, when i was in high school it does school. say lucky you what that was like the thing how like, did you know that everyone would like point out like look at these jeans like, gym shark these are some gym shark full length leggings they've got the brand on the on the waistband logo on the waistband um yeah probably 25 for these oh these are the other aloe leggings these are called the goddess leggings because they have this like ruched almost like a leg warmer look to them Super cute. These should be like 50 bucks. And then some Lululemon cargo dance studio style pants. Size six, these are great. These are, they might be another one I, I keep for a minute before I sell them. Frame, denim, they have like a frayed cuff. These should sell for like at least $30. Frame retails for a ton. This brand, I was like, what is it? it when it has like this really kind of elaborate tag, I'm gonna look at it twice. This is a brand called Jamie Sadock. I thought they were vintage, but I don't know. Like the tag doesn't look that vintage. Maybe they're vintage inspired. Like the tag looks like it's vintage, right? Like 80s or something, but I don't know. Anyway, these retail, these retail for $60 and they resell for like 30 to 40. Spanx jeans. We love, love, love finding Spanx jeans. Like at least 30 bucks. Diane Von Furstenberg. Silk, this is a very high-end brand. It's sold at like, the Real Real takes it. Ruffle hem tiered skirt. That's like uh, 30 bucks probably. Even though it retails for a ton, it never it never seems to move very quickly for me, but I couldn't resist. Very decor. This is the one of the most you exciting You were excited things. about this and I thought- Look at this thing. It's a tablecloth. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, but this is the cotton check dress. Cops on eBay are like $230. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. 230. I have never heard of this brand before. I will hold it up. Wow. Here. And that was just one of the things it's like just shoved in the bag, it's a dollar. This is a brand called Hardtail. And comps look to be like 30, 30 bucks for their tops. And then this is an asymmetrical like sweater. But yeah, probably another 40. I, I had not heard of this brand before, but it's, it looks nice and it felt nice. Sweet. Okay. Ah, you guys, I freaked out. They know I freaked out when I saw this. Peruvian, Peruvian Connection. Peruvian Connection yeah, is one of those brands know. where like, if you know, you know, this is no, probably like a hundred, hundred, right 150 bucks. Nice. Easy. This is called Pine Cone Hill. And something made me look up the, you know, what this is. It's like a, it's a pajama top dress. But these like, the pajamas that they sell are like $150 retail. So I think this will sell for, it's linen. I think this will sell for like $60. So these are some North Face down booties. I think these will sell for like $40. Pr 
pre-owned. These shoes sold have like a comp around seventy dollars. This is nice. So yeah, I think that's what they could go for. They're in really good condition. Cool. Picolinos. I I just sold the picolinos I got at the last yard sale for forty five dollars plus ten dollars shipping. So I think these will sell for at least thirty. This is a brand called Allegria. Kind of had like a dance go vibe. They seem to be in basically new condition. Birkenstocks. Uh... Yeah, these will resell easily for around $70. I, I would have just walked right by. No. I know it. That's your problem. So um, I found two pairs of Tory Burch shoes. Cork Wedge, probably $40 for these. And then the exciting one, Tory Burch Miller sandals, the Miller flats. People love these because they have the big T on them. You know these are Tory Burch. Show off the brand. Pre-owned, these are selling for like $100. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, okay, Hunter boots. These are the Hunter Huntress boots. I saw a sold comp for these camper, like, pumps with these, like, red, the red soles were kind of cool for $60. Sold comp on eBay, so let's say $60. These are some Vince. I looked up the style name, and I will put it here. Like, some asymmetrical flats, slides. These will probably sell for around $40. Some Altra sneakers. I saw a comp on eBay for around $50 for these. I, could, I do need to clean them up a little bit, but... Wow. Sam Edelman. <laughs> so, some Sam Edelman leopard flats. Leopard flat espadrilles. What is it? What's the damage? I'm just, I'm just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. <laughs> so All it right. A, it was a blessed day. The number of items, first off. Yeah, how many items? 169 items. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's... Dang. That's, that might be a record. Okay, me. that might be a record for a yard sale. All right. Wow. $6,160. Oh my gosh. Everything was 30 bucks, it seemed like. But you know what? But it adds up. It all adds up. But also, oh. let's even even if it only sells for five thousand, let's take off of. I was already conservative. That is a really, good, really good yard sale day. That's Dang, like that's X. crazy. Thank you so much for tuning in today, you guys. I appreciate you so much. I hope you enjoyed this massive haul. And again, if you want to buy anything that you've seen today, I'll probably be auctioning it off on whatnot. So follow me there, link is down in my description. Like, subscribe, all that great stuff really helps out my little channel. I'm so close to 100,000 subscribers, you guys. Take care and I will catch you next time.